Tonight in Eyewitness News Exclusive, under the heading, How in the World Did This Happen? A five-year-old in kindergarten somehow gets out of his school in the Bath Beach section of Brooklyn, just walks out through a side door and is missing for an hour. Now his family and the lawyer they've hired are demanding answers. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Kristen Thorne. I don't want no one. So for what I saw for the day. Casilda Mesa says April 3rd was one of the worst days of her life. It's the day her five year old son, Juan Francisco, wandered away from his elementary school, Coney Island Prep Elementary. I was looking the whole school. My, my husband started looking with the, with the police. That day, the school bus had broken down outside the school. School staff called parents and asked for them to pick up their kids. Julio Reynoso rushed over and went to the first floor security desk to pick up his son. I call my wife, I say, I went in here 15 minutes for Francisco and not coming down. Coney Island Prep is located on the fourth floor of IS 281. Eyewitness News obtained the official incident report, which shows a teacher and the principal sent Juan Francisco downstairs alone. He exited an unsecured side door. Juan Francisco was last seen on school security cameras walking northeast here on 24th Avenue towards Bath Avenue. He was found an hour later, two miles away. A woman had called 911 after finding him alone. There were so many mistakes that the school made and so much time that transpired before they, you know, before they found Juan Francisco that, you know, we're very fortunate that the result is what it was. According to the incident report, the school safety agent did not know how to check the surveillance cameras and announcements looking for Juan Francisco only went to the IS 281 classrooms. The school's deputy executive director said in a statement to Eyewitness News, Coney Island Prep is committed to putting the safety of our scholars first. This incident is a reminder that even with strong protections in place, challenges may arise, and so we must continue to be vigilant. Kristen Thorne, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.